Gert, uh, great to meet you. Uh, I'm a long time idol. First time ever, uh, first time ever seeing you in person, always on YouTube. Uh, so thanks very much for uh, having a few words with me. Uh, Narva, unbelievable performance tonight, 332. Mm. And you just talked, uh, told me off camera, he came down from half marathon. Yeah, that was his primary uh, aim a few years ago. And then 10K and then 5K. And, and uh, I convinced him that you, you are perfect for 1500. Uh, and the training we do is also perfect for 15 rounds. You should try it. I think you can do well. And, and then, okay, okay, I'll try. And he did one, one attempt last year. And wow. Uh, but still, it was 5K, uh, the most important event. So uh, this year, he will go all in for 1500. And you can see by the results today that, that that's, his, that's the way, uh, that's the, where he should be in the 15. What, what, did you, what, what did you see in him that you thought he could be such a good 15? Oh, I've been coaching him since he was 15. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, having my own uh, voice, it was difficult to uh, uh, put putting enough effort into his training and uh, and his focus was also in in, in doing good in in, uh, in the university uh, now we're still in the university but uh, also doing good on the track so uh, yeah, you can do both so it's clear the Ingebrigtsen model doesn't only just work for Ingebrigtsen no the model <laughs> works for and I and just by being here watching people do warm-up and cool down I see that many have yeah. adopted our way of doing things yeah. And, and that, and yeah, I'm proud of that. And like, speak to me a bit more, like, you know, we, we, we talk about the threshold, the control training, like, you know, measuring the lactates, which keeps you under control, because I suppose working on that aerobic system, it's a zone that feels comfortable and it's easy to overdo it. But yet at the same time too, you need to have that turnover for the track. How do you manage the both of them together? And how does the athlete kind of feel that, feel that they can be confident knowing that this will pay off? That's the difficult thing, because you have to put all your trust in the coach. Uh, so we, we don't do any tests to, 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 to gain confidence. We do the training, and the training is volume-based and, and threshold-based. And, and, uh, and we have made a composition that uh, there's also some track work, but not much. Uh, so so uh, it's always a little uh, uncertainty when you do your first uh, track meets. So it's it's yeah, you have to uh, you have to rely on the system for a long long time. It's no quick fix. You have to adapt to the system. It may take one or two or three or four, maybe five years. But when you come out on the other side, having done all the work you will guarantee success. Yeah. And so like over the, th the winter months and most majority of the year, you're building that aerobic system. Yeah, yeah. And obviously then at some point in the year, you've got to hit those track workouts. But ha Races. Races. Yeah. So does, races. did he come in this evening with kind of very little prep for it in terms of on the track? Yeah, we, we, we do. We have done uh, one race every week for four weeks. Yeah. Uh, so one, uh, the first race was in Karlsruhe on the 20th of May. And uh, the next race was in Ordegem and the third race was in Bergen last week. And this is the fourth. And for hopefully we'll do Bislet as a fifth. And, and then doing those races, you gradually build. Uh, he has improved for every race. And, and, and that's, that's the way we do it. Like in the, we, we, we train a decent volume also now and, and it goes through the, 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 the spring months uh, doing track sessions on track in competition and, and so that big like the the summer season in terms of the summer months are quite short so like majority of the year is not track season yeah, yeah. like is there any point in the year that you are touching off that when it's not track season no we do some uh, some uh, indoor races in January February February and, and just just to just to see okay I'm where I'm supposed to be and, and then we go off again and and, so, yeah so do you feel for that threshold model it is important to be racing uh, as, uh, like during indoors to kind of prepare you more for outdoors more for that shock to the system yeah, 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 yeah. because you, you will don't you will not have those those um, it's, it's not like an amplified way of you will you will have like you see Jacob he is always doing good races 
that's that's because you have a lot of training based in the system and that's what Narvo also do you have a good volume a good base and then you will never do bad races you can do some races are not top races but never any bad ones there's always high level all year you, you can go directly from training and do a decent race all year because you have this base uh, and you have uh, yeah a stamina uh, you will always come out of that system with a good stamina and that's from 50 and, and up it's, yeah it's stamina not, and, nothing else. and do you think like there's an age time on these things like you know Jakob has been doing this from such a young age this model so like he's almost like you know he's such a head start on people who might be starting it later in life is it possible to get to that level you know if you haven't done it in your say teenage years if you have done something to create that base never mind what you did if you cycle if you run if you play football, whatever you do, to, to, to start early with that kind of, of training to, to, to build heart and lungs. That's the, that's, the, that's the engine. You have to train those things from early age when you are growing. Because when you are finished growing, you, you have that, you, 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 you can't build anymore physically. Uh, you can train what you have, but if you do like early start, you will grow your lungs and your heart will grow with your body. It will be a natural stamina. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I, definitely probably the, the view to be taking, I suppose, when you're a younger athlete. I suppose from younger athletes, we always get caught up in the next race, the next season. But I suppose it's so important to have that long-term vision of development that keeps Never you... Never mind what you do, as long as you do some activity to, to build stamina. Yeah. So. It's, it's if you play, if you, never mind what you do, but do something. Don't sit in front of a computer, don't sit in front of television. Get out and, and, and do something. So, uh, yeah. Kurt, yeah. incredible insight. Thanks very much. Have to see the 5K. Best of luck. Thank you very much.